If you love me, I got a word for the both of us. Put you in the driver's seat. Don't gotta hurry. What's up, what's up, my LB besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy, and if you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. And if you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back on to another video. I just wanna first start off by saying I appreciate each and every one of you who support my channel and who are always leaving me such sweet comments in the comment section below. If it was not for you guys, I would not be here making content today. I just want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for all that you do from liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It means the world to me and I really would not be as far along as I am without you guys. So, all right. So, it's been a minute, you guys. Like, it's only been 10 days, but it seems like it's been a whole lot more. But we have been so busy that I just have, I have either been gone or sick or hurting or whatever. So, I'm just now really up to making a video. So I haven't made one in 10 days. Four of those days we were on vacation. We went up into the mountains in Oklahoma because it was my daughter's spring break. So us and a whole bunch of our friends, we took a little trip. And then when I came back, I had inner ear vertigo. And all that you have been following me, you guys know that I suffer from that. That's something I've had since I was 17. And the springtime and the fall time gets me the worst because the weather is so back and forth. And when the pollen counts are high, mixed with cold rain one day, sunny, warm weather the next day. It gets everything out of whack and then with the rain it you would think it would wash it away but it does not. It just helps it for the moment then the pollen's right back falling. So anyways with all of that it causes me to have allergies and sinus issues which causes fluid to, to build up inside of my inner ear which then gets those crystals out of line and then there comes the vertigo. So I dealt with that for several days on and off and then Along with that weather change also comes my back pain. And sometimes I have major flare-ups to where I do not really get out of bed much. I ice my back a whole lot and all of that. So I had a like a flare-up. And when I say a flare-up, I really don't know what else to call it because one time I had one of these and I had an MRI done and, and it showed that I had a lot of inflammation around where my discs were herniated, which is the L5-S1 area. So that's why I kind of know it's a flare-up because it's the same pain as when I had the MRI done years ago. So that's what's been going on with me along with preparing for the baby shower for my grandbaby that should be here within a month or less because sad, sadly she has preeclampsia so they may not let her go past 37 weeks which is in two weeks. So I may be a CC because that's what I'm going by in two weeks or less, or if not, less than a month for sure. So excited about that. And that was another thing we, I have been really preparing a lot for that baby shower. So my YouTube videos have been put on the back burner for the past several days because of all that we've had going on. Let's and get on with the video now that I told you guys where all I have been and what all I have been doing. Some of you have probably seen that I have had some bags for sale on my community post because I am doing a spring slash don't use clean out. And I have not been selling any bags here lately until the other day and I thought some bags just need to go because a lot of them did not make my winter rotation, I guess you want to call it. And some of them are ones that I got that I'm just not a fan of, but I will tell you guys that when I show them, they're beautiful bags, but let's just face it, I am just a Louis Vuitton girl and I can't help it. So anyways, Three of the bags that I had listed on my community post uh, did sell. So now I'm down to a, f a few Gucci bags and then possibly a couple of more bags that if I do not use, they're out the door, gone. Because I have a rule and it is if I do not use them after so long or, or do not see myself using them, they're not going to sit on my shelves anymore. So if you would like to see what bags I have for sale, I will show them after I do the unboxing of this lovely, beautiful bag. And yeah, 
you guys can message me on here or my email or Instagram and we can go from there. But also, before we get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would appreciate that oh so very much. I will say I want to thank all of you new subscribers that have been subscribing when I haven't even made a video in 10 days. My, the numbers are still going up. It is. It seems to be very consistent and I thank you all so much. And that is so important to gain subscribers because we put a lot of work into this. So the more people to watch, the better it is. And yeah, it's just the whole thing. Okay, so thank you all. And let's get started with what I bought recently that I cannot wait to show you guys. And I hope you all have been well and doing good because I always like to know how you guys have been. And I do talk to a lot of you guys on through my Instagram and stuff because so many like to message me and I love that. So I hope you all have been well though. All right, so let's get this bag out of the box. And one thing I just wanna say, this is a collection piece that I have been waiting on since I first seen it come out. I'm trying to fix it this bag. So it'll be pretty when I turn it around. It's not that pretty, but it's okay. It's okay, okay. This is a collection I have been waiting on since I found out that they were going to release it. So I already knew which bag I was going to get. I was literally just waiting on the day for them to release it. So this is not a surprise for me as in I was shocked when I walked into this boutique and seen it sitting there because I have been counting down the months, the weeks, the days, and it is here that I have her in my hands. So let me show you guys one of the best everyday versatile bags that is out there in the Louis Vuitton world. Okay, and it is the Navy Emprunt Leather Pochette Matisse. So look at her. Isn't she just an absolute beauty? So you guys know how much I love the Pochette Matisse bags and when they come out with a new color, it is really hard for me not to get the, the new color because these are one of my favorite bags and they could not have added a more beautiful color than the navy, in my opinion, to all of the Pochette Matisses that they have came out with. Now, this is part of the Nautical Collection 2024. Part of this collection, they did have the blue and cream bicolor bags. So once I seen the whole collection of bags that they were going to come out with, I had no problem deciding on which one I wanted, which was this one. The second would have probably been the Diane bag because you guys know how I am about the Diane bag. The Diane bag and the Pochette Matisse run a really tight race being my top favorite styles of bags. So if they would have had the Diane bag in the solid navy with the regular monogram print, I probably would have went with the, it since I do have several Pochette Matisses, but it didn't have it. And I am a sucker, sucker, sucker for the deep embossing of the regular print on any bag there is. So let's do a 360 so you guys can check her out thoroughly with me. So here is the front, the side, the back, the other side, the bottom, and the top. So just putting this bag ne up next to my shirt just shows me how much I'm going to enjoy this bag so much because I don't have a lot of blue colored bags, yet I do have a lot of clothing with, with blue in it, such as like this gray shirt with the blue riding, and it, it literally matches perfect. So when it comes to bags and the color of blue, the navy is more of my favorite color, and I do have the Palm Springs Mini in the navy as well. So the Palm Springs Mini and the Pochette Matisse are the only two bags that I have in the navy color. So I'm very happy to have it in this color because this is such an amazing everyday versatile bag. And I'm going to show you guys all of that in just a moment, but let's go over her features. So as if you guys didn't already know her features before, you get to see them again, or you can skip through. It doesn't matter to me. You can skip right on through to my vlog cell. So it does have the gold hardware right here. It does have a little 
matching blue loop of leather, I guess you want to call it. I don't know. That's the first time I've ever called it that. Who cares? Above the hardware. And of course, it does have a top handle. So, I love that it has a top handle. And then I also love that it has a back zipper, which did unzip very smoothly, by the way. And back there is, if you guys can see, probably can see that it's blue with dark blue pinstripes. So, all right, so let's open her up, and here is a, the best strap in the whole world. And any strap that comes with the Pochette Matisse is going to be one of the best straps in the whole world because you can't beat them. So inside, as you can see, it has a back pocket right there, a big pocket right there, and a front pocket right there. And it also has the dark blue with the dark, even darker blue pinstripes going down. So the Pochette Matisse bag holds an absolute a ton. It really does. And so that is one of the things that I like about the bag the most. It's hard to shut these bags when there is nothing in them, but just a moment and I will get it shut. Okay. All right. So let's put the strap on this bag and it's already adjusted to the longest setting. So we'll just see where it's at when I put it on. We'll start there anyways. With this big old thick sweatshirt, sometimes I do have to adjust it more, so it may be okay. I also thought about getting a bando to wrap around the top handle, and they came out with some from the same line, and so they're blue, like blue and white. I think that would be so pretty. I love wrapping the Pochette Matisse top handles with bandos. I think it looks so super cute. Okay, so I'm going to try this bag on and show you guys what it looks like, okay? Okay, so I would adjust this up a little more, but since I'm already on here, I'm going to take time out to do it because you guys can probably tell what it would look like because I'll just hold it up. But here it is as a crossbody. So I really love how it brings out the color in this sweatshirt. And any other thing that I wear that's going to be blue, it's going to look fantastic with. So that's one thing I love about the navy blue is I really do kind of consider it more of a neutral color bag, yet it's I still wouldn't pair it with certain things. So it looks really good crossbody. And mm -hmm. then of course you can wear it as a long shoulder um, bag, but I would adjust it to about right here if I did. And so that is what the Pochette Matisse looks like on. Anyways, as far as a everyday bag goes, the Pochette Matisse is just a big winner in my book. And I am so super, super happy to add this bag to my collection. Back when they had this bag in the color Marine Rouge, I almost got that bag a thousand times. And it was still, and it's still a beautiful bag also because it's navy blue and it's trimmed in red. The trimming in red was the only thing that stopped me from getting it. And it wasn't because I didn't think it was pretty. I just really didn't know how I would style it. So I remember hoping that they would just come out with a solid bl blue navy one. And now they did. And like I said, you guys, I was so excited when I found out they were coming out with the navy. So super excited to add her to my collection. Couldn't be more happier. I mean, well, you know, I say that on every single bag that I love. But if I'm saying that, I truly do mean it. There might be some times that some of these bags that I have said that I have just can't get enough of are the best bags ever I end up selling later on. But, you know, that's just the way it goes. That's the way life goes. Our minds change constantly about lots of things. But I will say my mind rarely changes on a Pochette Matisse. It really does. So my new fave everyday bag is the Pochette Matisse in the Navy from the Nautical Collection of 2024. So I'm going to set her over to the side and now I'm going to show you guys a few bags that I do have left that was for sale. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so the first bag that I have is the Gucci, and, I'm, and I hope to get this right, is the Gucci Triple Zip Messenger Bag. This is such a cool bag, and I brought this pre-loved from Love My LVOE, but I will say it is pre-loved, but it is in brand new condition. There's nothing wrong with this bag. It's just that when I got it in, I didn't feel that feeling that I feel when I get my Louis Vuitton bags and I'm just that way with Gucci in general like I love their Mermont camera bags and I've been through a lot of those bags and I do love the Ophidia print but sometimes I'm just 
I don't know. Like, it's, I'm that way when I go into the store as well. I don't get that same feeling when I go into the Gucci store as I do the Louis Vuitton store. And that is because I guess I'm just really, really and truly a Louis Vuitton girl. And I do know that I have other Gucci bags. And I know that I have YSL bags and other brands as well. But when it comes to letting go of bags you're not going to use or have not used, it is best just to let them go because they could make an amazing bag for somebody else. And this bag deserves to go to somebody that would enjoy her thoroughly because she is a gorgeous bag. So you guys wait until I show you the details. So here's the front of the bag, okay? And then here's the back of the bag. So here's the bottom of the bag. Here is a, this, let's move the strap. Here's the side of the bag and the other side looks exactly like it. So. What is really cool about this bag is how you can see all of the pouches on the sides and the bottom. One of my favorite things about the bag is the opening of it. So you open it right here, which is a magnetic closure and it's a good magnetic closure. So you're opening and closing it underneath the bag. That is super cool to me because I've never had a bag that opened and closed underneath it. So that's one thing that I really, really do love about this bag. So you open it up and then here is the inside of the bag. And as you can see, it is in a brand new or we shall go with excellent condition. But if you were to ask me and if I were to see this bag sitting on the shelf, I would think it had never been used. Okay. So it has three zipper pouches right here. And then of course it has this zipper pocket right there, which opens up and is a pretty good size pocket right there. And these pockets inside this bag are really good as well. I'm going to open all three of them up. So... There's the booklets inside and stuffing. I haven't taken that out. So this is how wide these pockets open up. It's a good size bag. It has a card holder right here, but what's really good about this bag is it will expand. If you need to put just a little more than what the bag should hold, it's not gonna matter because it's made to expand. Anyways, you can tell it holds a ton. I have not used this bag at all. I don't know if anybody ever did use it because from the looks of it, you couldn't tell that anybody did. So, great, cool looking bag. If you ask me, I just know myself and I know that it's going to be one that is going to just hang. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on real quick so you guys can know um, basing off my height and size and such. But I will say it does have a really good crossbody strap it's not detachable but it is adjustable and it adjusts really well it has one two three four five six seven eight nine it has nine holes in it to adjust so this bag really will adjust up and down and i do like that it has the extra keeper some of the gucci bags do not but this one does have another keeper at the bottom so this flap is just not like hanging all around because that's something that drives me absolutely crazy. So let me show you guys what this looks like on, okay? So here it is crossbody. Now, I think if I was going to wear the bag, I would probably adjust it down one more notch just so it's a little bit lower on my hips. But this is what it looks like to where it's adjusted now. So it is a really beautiful bag. I don't know, now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of like rethinking it, but I, ha I have to let some of these things go you guys i do because i try to keep everything organized nicely these are starting to get piled up and my display cases are already full and so my shelves in here are starting to get full as well so if i want to get new bags sometimes i just have to let some of them go so this one is a for sale and i am selling it for a really good price and i can tell you guys there is no corner rubs anywhere that i can see at all there's nothing nothing wrong with the bag the whole bag is just beautiful but if you guys want extra pictures please do not hesitate to ask just do not hesitate to ask please okay i really do not mind and i really would I prefer anybody that questioned anything to please ask for additional pictures. Okay, so the Gucci Ophidia Triple Zip Messenger Bag. Okay, now let's set her over here and I'll show you guys another one. I don't know if Gucci calls it a toiletry 26 or not, but Louis Vuitton does. So we have it in the Gucci version and yes, it does fit an insert that you would put in your toiletry 26 from Louis Vuitton. 
and you can turn this into a handbag as well because it has the openings on each end for you to do that. So anything you can do with the Toiletry 26 from Louis Vuitton, you can do with this Gucci bag. So it's from the Blossoms collection and here is the front and here's the top. You can see that beautiful like deep purple plum looking color. Same for the side of the bag. The back just has the blossom flowers. Again, the side and then the flowers just kind of wrap around the bottom. This bag is in immaculate condition, just like the other one is. And inside of it is, it's like a hard, like, textile lining. I don't know. It, I thought it was leather, but it looks like leather, but it's a good intact lining, that's for sure. And it has a pocket right here, so you can put things down in there. And, yeah, it opens up really large. So, so I love the Tully Tree 26, and I call them all... T26 really because that's what they are to me. I don't use them as toiletry bags. I use them as a handbag, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use her or not. And this is why I have a, this bag and I haven't had this bag very long and it's, the, it's from the Steven Sprouse collection and I really don't need to like tropical looking bags because I have a purpose for this bag. I had a purpose for this one, but I think if I was going to choose one, I think I would probably choose the Steven Sprouse because it's Louis Vuitton. <laughs> so she is for sale. Okay. I, I made a decision between these two. So she's for sale. She's the one I'm letting go because I have to let some of these go. And I have not unboxed these bags. I bought them a couple of months ago with the intentions of unboxing them for you guys. And I bought them from Love My LVOE, by the way. But I never got around to it because I had n new release bags coming in and then all that other stuff happened. And so when I took a look around, I thought, you know what? I haven't even I I've unboxed these bags, but here they are. Here they are, you guys. So both of these bags are for sale. And for sure, these are for sure for sale. I will show you guys a couple other ones that I'm thinking of. Okay, hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm back. This is one I'm thinking of selling. I know you guys are thinking I probably have done lost my mind because I do rave about the Neo Noe so much, but I have so many of these bags and I really choose my black on prompt leather one when I go to wear one with the black on it. So that's why I'm thinking of letting this one go because every single time I want the one with black, I seem to want to choose this one right here. So do I need both of these? I really don't because, because even over this one, I really like my one with the caramel, as you can see up there, the leather strings and such. So this one is a maybe, this one is in excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with the bag. There's no corner wear or anything. It's just, just a neon no way. I have it stuffed with a organizer, but I can show you guys what it looks like inside. So here is the strap and it would come with a strap. It's so black, you really can't see. So I do have an organizer in here. I'll take that out. I just had one. Okay, so inside is, let me pull this. Inside is a solid black microfiber lining. But everything is beautiful about this bag other than just the fact I have not reached for it in a good long while. So, she's a maybe because <laughs> these are ones that are hard for me to let go. The ones that I do love the most. So, I will have a price listed for her in my description box below along with the rest of these. But it's, it's probably time I part ways with one of these because I can't get them all in my rotation. And I have several Neo Noe bags. Okay, like the, I really have more of these bags than I have of anything that I own. So that's why I'm choosing this one. All right, so big maybe. It would have to be someone that really, really, really wanted her. And if someone chooses not to buy her, that is okay too. Another bag. It may come to no surprise to you guys because I have only tried out a million Alma BB bags, but I really love this one. It's the one with the beautiful pink and tan braided handles. I love that it has the cream leather instead of the bachetta. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that it has the pink interior inside the bag and there's a strap. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. 
but I think I'm going to love all my bags. I buy all my bags and then I never put them to use. So my thought process is should I keep it and try it for the spring and see if I do put it to use? Or should I just go ahead and let it go knowing that I'm probably not? Now, I will say, I do have the Alma bag in the monogram print. And I really, for some reason, just love that one so much that when I go for the Alma bag, I, I seem to reach for that one a whole lot. And I have been carrying that one a whole lot. So, I don't know if it's just the... If it's just that I loved that one so much because I bought this one like almost immediately after because there's nothing wrong with this bag. It's literally brand new condition. Like no marks, no stains, no anything. But I just don't know. Like I don't know if it's, I'm such a monogram lover. I don't know why, but I just don't know if I'm going to end up carrying her or not. So she's a possibility. I will link a price for her below. Once again, if this bag does not sell, it's okay because I will gladly keep her and try and use her. And if it sells, it sells. So I kind of have that mindset of if either one of these two bags sell, which is meant to be. And if they don't sell, then it's meant to be for me to keep them. So that is how I'm looking at it. And that's all of them that I have for now. And like I said, the prices will be listed in my description box below. You can contact me via email or through Instagram Messenger, which will be listed in the description box below as well. So that is going to wrap up my video for today. And I will not take 10 days then to come back on here, hopefully, unless the baby's born. I don't know about that. It may be a few days after the baby comes before I do jump back on here because I'm going to be so overwhelmed with excitement and such. So anyways, that is all for today. And once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a good old a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my new beautiful navy <laughs> Pachette Matisse because I literally love her so much. And I will let you guys go as I always do with I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening, or night, whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good night. And I will see you guys back real soon with another video. Bye.